Hello guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite um, my favorite exile that I actually uh, created during uh, 3.0. Uh, just before I'm uploading this just before the new Atlas of Worlds um, update, which is 3.1, which I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to go with just yet. Um, but... Uh, I will let you guys know in another uh, YouTube video. Okay, so my gear, the Rippling Tots, absolutely amazing sword. Um, you can get a lot better uh, spell damage and physical damage on this. I wasn't quite happy with my lightning damage on from this um, uh, base, but uh, I pretty much had to deal with, with what I had, and I didn't have a huge amount of currency. Uh, I spent about 3x on this um, entire break, this entire setup, and that was mainly just down to the Tempest and the coming uh, Calamity Destroyer, which uh, I did buy 5 linked. Uh, pretty much for gloves, boots, um, belt, I just went for life and high re re uh, resist resistances. Uh, you need an essence worm on set ring uh, with hatred in that and for your amulet more resistance and more life you're gonna want to get a diamond ring for the extra critical strikes and try to get as high a roll as you possibly can um, and then my second one one hand uh, I decided to go with a mace for that el extra elemental damage uh, the attack speed and cast speed is just a little extra bonuses as well that's on this. Uh, flasks, you guys can uh, go ahead and choose what you guys kind of want. Um, there is one flask that is typically, which I couldn't get a hold of before the end of the uh, the league, but. Um, it's it's not it it wasn't uh, exactly needed perfectly, um, and that is the uh, Atzeri's promise, which is actually uh, very cheap. Um, this build is quite cheap anyway. Uh, if you just want to dump a couple EX into into a go build, and uh, this will be it. Uh, your life pretty much is uh, the only thing that you want to be wary of. Uh, I went with Assassin 2 for the extra critical um, uh, power charges as well. And I actually don't even have this on Uber. So, uh, what you're seeing here is um, my skill tree. You guys can go ahead and pause if you guys want to do this yourself. Uh, of course, the skill tree will be changed again in 3.1, very, very uh, l uh, little bit. Uh, Val Pact, you probably won't really need it. Um, and just try to get as much life as you can and evasion definitely is uh, very much needed uh, so I'm, I'm just going to show you guys this running in this tier 7 map I haven't got any uh, higher tiers as I've been doing uh, I've been just kind of running through them really quickly It's uh, more of a um, quick clear. If if you guys can actually get more um, movement speed, definitely do if you can. Uh, I do have plus 30 movement speed boots, and that's pretty much all of the movement speed I have. If you guys can get it on jewels and stuff like that as well, uh, I definitely do recommend you get it. It will definitely help with clear speeds and um, getting through those maps as quick as you can. If you guys also have uh, any um, constructive criticism criticism on this uh, build, please do let me know. Um, 
what I could have done maybe a little bit better, etc. On jewels and stuff like that as well, you do want to get life and you want to get attack speed. Um, mainly for your blade flurry, which is your main skill. And you have that uh, connected with um, Cascade, Glacial Cascade. This build does not really have many problems as well during uh, higher tiers. I've been able to do uh, tier 12s since level 75, um, since I got my Dovani's Catalyst uh, for that extra damage. Also, guys, uh, if you um, if you like this build, you like uh, the constructiveness of this video, and uh, showing you guys pretty much my uh, most favorite build. Please do let me know your favorite build as well of your of the league and how uh, how uh, far you got with it. And um, uh, also leave a like on the on the video, please. And uh, Enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you.